Sparks fly after a congressional candidate saws apart an AR-15. It's getting a lot of attention online and from the feds. And that is our top story this Thursday. I'm David Allen. And I'm Regina Mobley. Virginia Beach police tell us Karen Mallard is under investigation by the ATF. That's because in cutting the weapon, she created a sawed-off shotgun, which is illegal. More than 800,000 people have seen the video. 13 News Now reporter Megan Purrier is following the story. David Regina, this story has gone viral. Now, Karen Mallard tells me that she completely destroyed the gun and handed it over to the police because she didn't want it getting in anyone's hands. My husband bought this AR-15. I wasn't happy about it. And after last week, I told him I wanted this gun out of my house. Congressional candidate Karen Mallard just sawed off her husband's AR-15. The 30-year-old teacher is challenging Republican Scott Taylor for his congressional seat. Our job is to teach children. It's not to protect them from gun violence. That is the government's job, and they're failing at it. After 17 people died in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas school shooting, people all over the country have called for gun reform. Gun violence is real, but I don't want it to happen here in where we live. So we've got to do some things to, uh, we, to stop it from happening here. Mallard wants Parkland students to know she's with them. And I wanted them to know that their message is being heard. Now she has her own message for America. We need um, just common sense gun laws. And these military style assault weapons are the ones that are being used in mass shootings. And we need to get rid of the bump stocks. We need to get rid of those um, magazines, those large magazines, so that we can make sure that our citizens are safe. It's the government's job to keep our citizens safe. And we have to safeguard our children. And that's what's most important. After destroying the weapon on her own, she turned it into police. But the controversy over her move is growing online. And I knew that when we did it. But that, that gun could have never been used before I even cut it. It had already been rendered inoperable. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about what you just saw. <laughs> that video was crazy. The full video of what she did is in the description box below. But the news article, the news report pretty much summed it up. But there were a few things they got wrong and a few things they left out. Now, first of all, she did not create a sawed off shotgun. Obviously, that was a rifle. She created a short barrel rifle. That's the SBR that is illegal you cannot do that without going through the atf you got to contact them before you make your first cut with the new length of the rifle you got to pay a tax you got to fill out paperwork you got to do all of these things then wait get approved and then make your cut you can't just do that whenever you want to do it that's illegal she did say that the gun was rendered inoperable before she made the cut but that's aside from the point what she did to that weapon is illegal and that's pretty much the end of that and as far as her getting it from her husband and her husband got it my question is how was he able to do that i was reading some comments on the thread which is where you see all the good stuff because i saw this story back in my hometown where i used to live in virginia i was reading the comments there and one person said that her husband just became a naturalized citizen five days ago so if her husband had the rifle for quote unquote a while. How was he able to do that without being a citizen? I don't know, but I digress. My whole point here is that she's talking about common sense gun laws while not following the gun laws herself. The ATF is looking into it because if you're going to get people for doing that, just the regular normies, regular citizens, then why not get her for creating the SBR number one without any kind of paperwork, no permission, nothing like that. And number two, by her husband having weapons because this ar was not the only gun he had so i assume he had been collecting guns for a minute while not being a citizen how is that possible where did he get them from did he bring them from a different country what's really going on with that you may be talking about um weapons trafficking arms dealing that's a lot of stuff that's going on with her situation but i think this video pretty much sums up the problem with the anti-gun crowd it's a lot of ignorance. It's a lot of just not knowing what's really going on, not knowing what a rifle is compared to a shotgun, not knowing what the actual laws are that you cannot just saw off a rifle willy nilly like that. 
That is the whole point. You want to talk about gun laws, but well, you don't even know what the gun laws are that currently exist. How are you going to try to tell me about the laws that you don't know anything about? Now, on her Facebook page, which is kind of hard to access right now, she said that the people that are talking about this, that are saying that she did something illegal, are quote unquote NRA trolls. How are we trolls for telling you what the law is? If you want to be in politics, if you want to have a congressional district, shit, and you know the laws, especially if you're going to run on the platform, which is to have stronger laws in that area, that doesn't make any sense. It's like me, if I say, okay, we need stronger laws on drugs and i don't know anything about drug laws i want to confuse heroin with cocaine okay i need to know my subject matter before i begin to speak on it and definitely before i run for office in that situation so as i close i want to say this uh that video was crazy it was hilarious and again the full thing is in the box below i don't know how this woman who grew up around guns in wise county which is like right on the border of kentucky very far away in the far western part of virginia a very poor a very rural region it baffles my mind how she was able to go from there to Virginia Beach, one of the biggest cities in Virginia with, you know, a lot of population, a lot of tourism. And you're trying to be. And, and beyond that, she was in the school system for 30 years. So, OK, you're an educator, but you can't educate yourself about that, which you try to purport yourself to be a proponent of. It doesn't make any sense. But what do you think? Do you think that this woman is just an embodiment of the anti-gun crowd. They don't really know what they're talking about. They have these ideas in their head, but they aren't really fully fleshed out because they're just uneducated about the subject matter. Do you think that what she did would get her a jail term? What she did, let's be clear, it carries up to a 20-year sentence in the federal penitentiary. It is very illegal. There are gun laws on the books that people don't follow. Do you think that she's one of them? Do you think that uh, it wasn't really a big deal? It's all about the proper context. The police have the gun. It was made inoperable before she did any kind of cuts. So there should be no crime. However, if a regular normie like myself was to just go on Facebook and start cutting up my weapon, it would be okay. Are there exemptions and exceptions for you if you just claim to be ignorant? I was always taught that ignorance is no excuse for the law. But whatever your comments are, Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.